Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show that covers all things marketing. The GSMC Marketing News Podcast gives you the latest marketing news, from what major businesses have planned for the coming year, to the newest trends in advertising, from podcasts, digital and streaming, to the old standbys of radio, television, and billboards. Whether you're a marketing agent or a business trying to expand your brand, you've come to the right place. The GSMC Marketing News Podcast starts now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the GSMC Marketing Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. Guys, I was a little bit lazy this week normally, and I always tell you guys this, too. I record all of the episodes on one day. I have a very long recording day, and I just sort of grind through them. But as I was doing that on this Sunday, I started to realize that I wasn't creating the type of content I wanted to put out for you guys. And for me, that is so, so important. And the reason being truly is that I want this to be something that is actually usable and tangible and something that you guys can relate to and work with. And if I'm just pumping out episodes to pump out episodes, that's not doing anything for you. That's not helping you. That's not helping me. It's not helping the GSMC podcast network. So I decided to take a few days and really try to focus on creating some quality content for you, which is where I got the idea for tonight's episode, which is moving your marketing. So I'm actually in the process of moving. I'm going to a new apartment, a new home. It is a new opportunity to create, to work, and to thrive in a new environment. And I am so incredibly excited for that. However, I am also very nostalgic, and I won't lie, I have graduation goggles on for the place I currently live. Yes, there were a lot of problems that I didn't love. The location wasn't really what I was looking for. I don't have enough space here. But it was still a great place to live, and it was still a place I lived, and a place where I experienced memories and I started the podcast here and it is going to be hard to say goodbye but it's going to be an even better hello and so that's the type of stuff I want to talk about on today's podcast when to know when to know when to let go of content or marketing ideas that you've had for a very long time that you're emotionally attached to and how to get excited about the future so basically you got you guys know I love a good metaphor, and we got the best one today. We are going to be moving your marketing just like I am moving my couch out of this apartment. So get your pen and paper ready because we are diving into all of that and more on tonight's episode of the GSMC Marketing Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. Now, before we get into this, I did already sort of talk about how much I really love you guys and I appreciate your attention. And I think that is something that a lot of hosts, certainly none of the hosts on the GSMC Podcast Network, but a lot of podcast hosts and a lot of entertainers forget. They forget to thank you guys for your attention. I get it. This is a 40-minute podcast. Sometimes it's an hour long. Sometimes it's 30 minutes. Whatever the amount of time it is, You guys are dedicating your attention to me for that amount of time. And since you are doing that huge thing for me, I want to do something for you. And I want to make sure this podcast is something worth giving your attention to, which is why I decided not to push through on Sunday just to pump out episodes. I really wanted to make sure that if an episode is being released under my name, under the GSMC Podcast Network label, I want it to be something that is helpful and useful or at least entertaining. So the best way for me to know if it's actually working, if I'm actually being entertaining, if I'm actually helping you, is for you to tell me. And obviously you can't call me up. You don't have your cell phone, my cell phone number, and I'm not about to hand it out. But you can contact me through social media. Guys, we have Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You, we have a website. You can read and review on this podcast and I will see it. I encourage you to go follow us on there because not only is that a great way to connect with us and talk to us, 
It is also a great way to get some more information about the podcast. I share a lot of marketing ideas and marketing strategies over there. If you miss an episode or you want more details about a subject we talked about on an episode, that is a great place to go and get the information you're looking for. Not to mention, you're not the only person who's going to be following us. We are building a community over there. There are so many other small business owners, people who are working in marketing for the first time, people who have been working in marketing for years, and it really is going to be a great place for you to go and find some great resources, network with people in your industry, and just have a good time. So head over there, but also... I have my own personal social media, as every millennial or Gen Z does, so please feel free to follow me as well. I am Mackenzie underscore Jayquish on most social media places. On Twitter, I am Mac, M-A-C, Jayquish, J-A-Q-U-I-S-H, so please feel free, follow me on there, connect through the GSMC Podcast Network, and I would love, love, love to hear from you. Okay. So enough talking about what an amazing community we have and how I am so excited for you to join it. Let's jump right into today's episode. So the first thing you need to do, you have bought your new house, we will say, for the sake of the metaphor. But to bring it back, just because we're starting out here, I want to keep the metaphor fresh in your brain, but also keep it... a keep you aware that we are talking about marketing. So you are deciding to, okay, I'm going to start my marketing business. I'm going to do a rebrand. I am going to move to this new platform. I'm going to start this new campaign. I am going to start something new. You have bought your new house. So that is what this segment is all about. You have bought the new house. How are you going to get yourself ready to leave the old one? So the first thing you need to do is do a deep clean of that house. And when I mean that, what I mean for you to do is you need to do a deep clean of your marketing. If you are considering doing a rebranding or starting something new on social media, then you need to go through your old social media and clear out anything that will no longer fit with your new branding or your new social media. So go through your posts, be very critical, and take out anything that no longer fits or you feel belongs in your website or on your social media. The second thing you need to do is declutter. So not only are you going through and scrubbing the house down, you're also throwing away anything that you're like, hey, I never use this coffee pot. Why do I own seven coffee pots? I'm going to throw away four of them. (laughs) So when you're decluttering, do the Maria Kondo thing where... If you hold it and it brings it you joy, keep it. But keeping in mind, someone once said to me, there's always, you know, lines around that. And there definitely are. Obviously, this bucket of baking soda, you might not feel joy when you hold it, but you might need it because who doesn't need a bucket of baking soda? Guys, sorry, I lost myself a little bit on that one. But I think you know what I mean. There are obviously going to be things with your marketing that you have to keep because obviously your like spreadsheet of all your budgetary needs and of your employees won't bring you immediate joy, but you need to keep it. You need to know what you're paying your employees. So keep that stuff, but get rid of anything else that does not bring you joy. The third thing I want you to do is I want you guys, this is a hard one, like get your beverage of choice out Clear some time in your schedule to do this because it's a little bit more difficult. I want you to create a list of all the mistakes you made while living at this house, while working with this marketing, while doing that campaign, while working with that brand. And once you have your list of your mistakes, create a second list right beside it of how you learned from those mistakes. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Marketing is an emotional, emotional roller coaster, and I'm about to take you on one because you're going to have to look at all your mistakes. You're going to have to go back in your mental memory and figure out truly, truly what did you learn from them. The reason I want you to do this is because it is so, so incredibly important that every mistake you make you get something from and you don't make it again when you go into this new house or this new marketing world. So the fourth thing you're going to need 
to do is not only are you making the list of your mistakes, you are also going to make a list of all the supplies you will need for your next house. Do you suddenly have a new bedroom that you need a couch for or another bed? Is there an office space now? Do you need a new desk? Do you want photos? Do you want rugs? Do you want lamps? Or is there no overhead lighting? So create a list of all the supplies you will need going forward. That way you can keep it in your back pocket and say, oh, I did want to hire a photographer to start taking all of our social media photos. Oh, I did want to do a subscription box instead of just doing free samples at the farmer's market. And all of those supplies that we listed out there, they will help you turn your ideas into reality. So finally, the fifth thing you are going to do in this stage, the planning and the cleaning stage, is you are going to create a list of what you might want at the new place. Now, this is different from your supplies list because you need a desk, you need that second couch, you need the bed, you need the photographer, you need the subscription boxes, all that stuff. But what do you want? What are you hoping is going to happen at this new stage in your marketing? Are you going to grow in followers? Are you going to have higher engagement? Are you going to feel better about what you're doing on a day-to-day basis? Create that list. Keep it close to you. And whenever you are feeling like the new place isn't working out, pull out that list and take a look at it. Pull out that list and take a look at it every single time you decide to change something. It will help keep you grounded, it'll help keep your ideas focused, and it'll help clear your mind of any negativity you may have about the new place. Okay, everyone, we are going to go ahead and take a short break from the podcast, but when we come back, we are moving on to segment two, which is packing. So stay tuned for that because you are listening to the GSMC Marketing Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Mackenzie Jaquish, and I'll be right back. Golden State Media Concepts Technology Podcast covers everything tech. The hottest mobile phones, tablets, games. We review it, rate it, test it. Whether you're Microsoft or Apple, Android or iPhone, we'll give it to you black and white. The Golden State Media Concepts Technology Podcast. everyone and welcome back to the GSMC Marketing Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host Mackenzie Jaquish and let me ask you a question. How have you been spending your quarantine? Because guys I've gotten into doing some pretty boring stuff, some stuff that I never thought I would get into and um, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little embarrassed to say this so stay with me but I've I've downloaded TikTok, okay? I know. I know. We have done so many episodes of this podcast where I have sworn up and down that I will never, ever, ever download TikTok. I'll never be a TikToker. It's not my game. It's not my style. But guys, there are just so many hours in the day right now because of quarantine. I know, I know. This should be a time that I'm using to create more podcast episodes. Get ahead. I create YouTube videos. You could check those out. Mackenzie Jaquish on YouTube. But the truth is, sometimes we need entertainment. Sometimes we need to take a minute, relax our brains, and just enjoy some quality content. Now, something I like to do besides TikTok for some quality entertainment is listen to podcasts. Now, I obviously have a bunch of podcasts that I could recommend to you. Pretty Basic, Call Her Daddy, The Criminal Junkies. There are so many. The Office Ladies. But the truth is, 
is that I want to recommend to you the GSMC Podcast Network. And obviously, I know a bunch of you are just like, of course, you're recommending that. Your podcast is a part of the GSMC Podcast Network. No, 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 honey. That's not it. Sit down. That is not why I'm recommending it to you. The reason I am recommending it to you is because I don't know you, but I do know the GSMC Podcast Network has content made for everyone. Do you like wrestling? Do you like beauty? Do you like music? Do you like TV? Do you like books? If you like any of those and more, there is a podcast out there for you. And I personally love listening to them when I'm on transit. I haven't been on transit for a while though, but when I'm working out, when I'm falling asleep, when I'm working on a tedious task, when I'm cleaning, when I'm cooking, I absolutely love listening to the GSMC Podcast Network podcast. The hosts just care so much, you guys. We all care. We all work so hard to deliver to you excellent content that we know you are enjoying. So if you haven't already, if this is your first experience with the GSMC Podcast Network, then go check us out right now. We have so many podcasts live right now. We upload them consistently and they are all so amazing. So check it out. Come back. Tell me which one you listen to because I'm looking for some new recommendations. I've a I love the tech podcast and I love the book podcast, but I'm always looking for new ones to listen to. So let me know in the review down below. But for this podcast episode, let's get right back into our metaphor. So before the break, we talked about the planning and the cleaning stage. This is by far the most tedious of all the stages because... Oh, nobody wants to clean out the old house. We just want to get to the new house. We want to start our new marketing campaign. I don't care about the old one anymore. You need to do the cleaning and the planning and the prep work so that when you go into this next stage, the packing stage, you are better equipped to have a clear mind, a clear space to work in, and you can charge ahead without getting distracted. Which, by the way, as we are on the second segment of the show, the packing section here. The first tip I'm going to give you is to not get distracted. When you are first starting out on your new marketing adventure, whether that is a rebranding, you just started your company, or if you're going to a different firm or you're starting a new marketing campaign, the absolute worst thing you can do is get distracted. There are a million things that could distract you. You could start creating a vision board and then suddenly you're taking photos already for your Instagram or you're you're writing captions for your Instagram profile or then you're writing tweets and then you're writing a blog and the blog's not finished because you didn't know what you were writing about because you never finished the vision board. So do not get distracted. Again, there are other distractions. I did a whole podcast on distractions and how to avoid them in the marketing world. Turn off the TV, put the white noise on, focus yourself for an hour. An hour at a time is my recommendation so that you do not get focused. You can really horn in on your task and complete it. Tip number two is to work on this one zone at a time. So when you are packing up your house before you move to a new one, you are only going to pack up the kitchen and then you are going to pack up the bathroom. You're not half packing up the bathroom and half packing up the kitchen, are you? No, that's crazy. That's silly. You're not going to do that. Focus on one zone at a time. So when we earlier, we broke it up by one hour. One hour should be dedicated to social media. One hour should be dedicated to content creation. One hour should be directed into guerrilla marketing. One should be retail marketing. One should be email subscriptions and so on and so on. This way, when you're working on social media, you're not also focused on subscription boxes or that billboard you want to pay for or hiring a model for a video. One zone at a time. That way, each area gets your full attention. Tip number three is to understand that it will take time. I was very fortunate during this move that I had a month to pack before I had to be out of my old place and into the new place. And let me tell you, that was incredible because packing takes time. It takes a lot of energy. It is a stress on your mind, on your body, and on your soul. Just endless, endless boxes and tape and 
things you thought you had forgotten about and having to declutter and all of those things will take time. So understand that they're going to take time. Do not try to rush it because when you rush it, that is when things get broken. That is when your great aunt Barb's flamingo breaks. So let's all take our time, take a deep breath and get through this together. Step or tip number four. I know I've been switching between steps and tips, but you get the idea. They're steps, but they're also tips. You get it. Step tip number four is don't get hung up on tedious tasks. Guys, my roommate, he's wonderful at so many things, but packing is not one of them. I was busy packing. I'd gotten like almost the entire kitchen packed, went to check on him, and he was organizing cords. Um, my mother is another horrible example of this. She will suddenly start alphabetizing the DVDs before we're trying to pack for a trip. And it's things like that that are helpful in the long run. Sure, we do need to know where all the cords are and we do need them to be organized and having the DVDs alphabetized would be cool, but that's not helping us get the job done in a meaningful way. So tedious tax, you can get hooked on while you are doing this are, again, how many people are following you? What's your ratio? How many people liked this post versus that post? Should I do a rebrand of the logo instead of just my colors? Should I not do color? Should I not do this? Don't get hung up on tedious tasks. Stay on route for what you are trying to accomplish. Which brings us to step number five, push through when you get drained. I already told you, this is going to take time. It is going to take effort and energy, and it is going to exhaust all of your resources. But what I need you to do, what I want you to do right now, hold your hand up, left or right, I don't care. I can't see you. And I want you to promise and pledge to me that you will push through when it gets hard. You will keep going. Take a break, girl. Take a break. Take an hour. Get some water. Eat a potato chip. Do some stretches. Go for a run if you're that person. But then come back and push through. Do not just give up because giving up is pointless and silly. You guys, you have gone through 10 different steps now to get here. Do not give up at this step. I need you to push through because I promise, I promise to you it is worth it. But there are going to be a million little roadblocks, a million little stumbling stools that you just happen to trip over. But what I need you to do is not get hung up on them. Do not get hooked on those tedious tasks and understand, truly understand that it will take time and energy. So if you can do that, if you can promise me you are going to do that, then you are in great shape to move on to Step segment number three, which is the unpacking. You are getting to move into your new house and you are getting to move forward. So we are going to jump into the unpacking stage when we come back with more of the GSMC Marketing Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Mackenzie Jaquish, and I'll be right back. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play.
everyone, and welcome back to the GSMC Marketing Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Mackenzie Jaquish, and guys, who else is ready for quarantine to be over? It has been a hard couple of months, and obviously it has been hard for a lot of reasons, for a lot of people, and I'm not going to pretend that me having to record this podcast in my bathroom is the hardest thing to happen to anyone during this virus, because absolutely it is not. But what I would love is for you to go ahead and listen to all of our quarantine podcasts that we did do, because here's the thing, guys, quarantine may be ending, but all of the information and all of the content I gave you during this time It's going to live on and it can help you in situations where you feel like you're quarantined. There does not need to be a government-wide shutdown, a international pandemic to help you focus in on your marketing. Do you want to learn more about how to do indoor photo shoots, how to record a video, how to organize your content, how to sell content like they sell coffee? Guys, I recorded all of these podcasts and more over the past couple of months. They're all great. I know I'm biased. I was in them. But I do think we really did discuss some really great content ideas for you. And I hope, I hope, and I wish that all of this helped you get through this a little bit more. Reach out through social media. Tell me what your favorite quarantine podcast was, because I personally would love to hear it. So, let, for now, let's get back into today's episode where we are talking about moving. We're talking about moving on your marketing because what I've noticed, I'm in the middle of moving right now, is that it's basically a three-stage process. First, you clean and you plan out your move. And the planning's like, where are we going to move? And oh, we have to clean so we get our damage deposit back. And then you move on to stage two, and that's the packing, the, oh, I forgot I had this, I need to bring this, I need to bubble wrap that, I need to get rid of this, I need to push through it, even though this is taking time, it needs to get done. And then finally, you're on stage number three, which is unpacking. You are in the new place, you have fully, fully said goodbye to the old place, and you are ready to start something new here. And that is so similar to marketing. It's so similar to marketing in a lot of different ways. Number one, if you're just starting out, you need to say goodbye to whatever you were working on before. Chances are you are working on something similar to marketing and you need to put all that away while still bringing the important stuff with you, which is what we did in the packing stage. Or you are going through a rebranding and you need to let go of that old brand and get ready for your new brand. Or perhaps you are even, let's put this on a smaller scale. Let's micro it. We did the macro. Let's do the micro. You're starting a new campaign. You need to know how your old campaigns did to move on with your new one. So we've already talked about the planning and the cleaning. And we've talked about the packing. We are now, we've gone through 10 different steps to bring you here at the Emerald Gates of Emerald City. And I am the wizard and I'm going to help you through the third stage. But let's quickly review those first two stages just as a checklist to make sure you are ready, to make sure you have that heart tin man to come on to the next stage. So number one, did you do your deep clean? Did you get in there, get rid of all that stuff you didn't want anymore? The old Instagram posts that don't make sense with your brand, the old product shots that are blurry, the blogs that you wrote that have spelling mistakes, get rid of all that. Same with your decluttering. Are there posts on there you just don't want, don't need, don't have a necessity for? Get rid of those. Did you make your list of mistakes and then make your list of how you learned from those mistakes. And are you ready to bring those lessons with you to the new stage? Number four, you need your supplies list. And number five, you need your list of goals. What am I going to achieve in this new space? And that is when we moved on to our packing stage. So did you get distracted? Focus on it one zone at a time. Understand that it will take time and you don't and you won't get hung up on tedious tasks because you, step number five, are going to push on through it and you are not going to get drained. Well, no, you are going to get drained, but you are going to push through it when you get drained. So if you did all of that, you're here, you're at the gates. 
you did it all. You've proved to me you've done it all. You're ready. Let's move on to the unpacking here. The first thing I want you to do is do a nice sweep of your new area. This is going to seem silly and it is not at all like the cleaning stage we did in stage one. But what you're going to do is just sweep for cobwebs. You're a new person moving in here and you want to get the lay of the land and sweeping is such a wonderful way to do that. So understand the new things about your brand or the new campaign or your new logo. Understand how it's going to look on all these different devices and formats and in guerrilla marketing versus social media. So get a lay of your land is step number one. Then we're going to move on to step number two and you're going to get all of your boxes out and you're going to lay it out in front of you. You're going to have your beautiful photos you have taken for this relaunch or this campaign or this rebranding. You are going to have all your employees. You're going to have all your equipment and resources. You're going to have your network of community. You're going to have the GSMC podcast network and that network, I hope. And you are going to look at it all so that you can understand where you want it all to be laid out. Where are you going to put that lamp? Where are you going to put that couch? How are you going to use those photos? How are you going to utilize this team of people? Lay it all out in front of you. Don't just do one box at a time. You're going to do them all. Unpack it all. Take a look at everything you have and get ready because step number three is you're going to be ready to move things around. So you might be like, okay, I'm going to use all of these product shots on social media. But then immediately you realize, well, wait, I need some for the website. So I'm going to take two over there and move them over here. I'm going to put this couch in the living room versus the guest bedroom. You get the idea. Be flexible and be ready to pivot. Number four, understand that this is a new space and things are going to be different. Yes, your old space had a lot of problems and you are glad to be rid of those problems. But this new space is going to have problems too. It is not going to magically solve all of your issues. It's going to solve some of the issues that you maybe had with the old place, but it is going to present you with new struggles and new problems that you have to deal with, which is why we made the list of the lessons learned, because that way you don't fall into the same holes you did last time. You're still going to fall into holes, but different holes, which is why number five, and guys, it's one of the most important, get up. You're going to fall into those holes. Get up and keep going. Be ready to pivot. Be ready to move and be ready to fail. Because if you're failing, you're trying. And that's all I ask for you guys to do on this podcast is to try. Try a new marketing strategy. Try a new marketing campaign. Rebrand. Pivot. New advertising opportunities. Network. Try out a new skill. Videotape. Photo shoots. Use yourself as the model test your product, do a subscription box, all of these things are just different ways for you to try when you fail or keep trying when you're being successful and you're on top of cloud nine. Keep pushing and keep moving because I know you can create something amazing. Okay, everyone, that is it for today's episode of the GSMC Marketing Podcast. I would just like to remind you one last time at the end of the show to please, please subscribe to this podcast, rate and review it. It just, you have no idea how much it helps us with our data and our metrics. Just trying to understand who's listening, where you guys are listening from, and what you want to hear because I only want to do this podcast if it's actually helping you guys, if it's actually giving you information and content. So please let me know in the review and by subscribing what you want out of this podcast. Do you want more? Do you want less? Let me know. Write it down below. Again, reach out through social media. GSMC Marketing Podcast on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As well, Mackenzie, M-A-C-K-E-N-Z-I-E. J-A-Q-U-I-S-H on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as well. Reach out and let us know what you think of the podcast. For now, thank you for listening to the GSMC Marketing Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I'm your host, Mackenzie Jaquish, and I'll see you next time. You've been listening to the GSMC Marketing News Podcast, part of the GSMC Podcast Network. You can find this show and others like it at www.gsmcpodcast.com. 
Download our podcasts on SoundCloud, Stitcher, and Google Play. Just type in GSMC to any podcast app, and you'll find all of the shows from the GSMC Podcast Network. From movies to music, from sports to entertainment, from business news to weird news, you'll find it all on the GSMC Podcast Network. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you, and we hope you have enjoyed today's program.